Hey everyone, welcome to the place we are testing every single mask in the world. We are doing our Masks from India series this uh, day, week, month, wherever we are in this weird world. Let's put a mask in the clamper and we will talk about it. This is a mask from a company called Vandalay. Now, let it rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. If you want to find out more about this machine, check out that link. Uh, we are, one quick note, we are testing only the fabric. We're not testing fit today. Um, all right, who are we testing? Vandalay. Vandalay, wasn't that uh, Art Vandalay uh, from uh, uh, Seinfeld, from Seinfeld. He was an importer exporter that lived in the building that was fictional and it was actually George Costanza himself. Um, <laughs> apparently he's importing and exporting masks now. Um, so I love the packaging on these guys. Uh, if you check out their website really quick, Vandalay, brands.com you can see you know the uh five packs uh it's th it's this exact pack right here uh 10 packs of five uh, they're saying they're uv sterilized which is interesting um melt blend filter three layers of filtering protection that's just incorrect uh it's two layers of one layer of filtration i'll tell you by looking at it soft and breathable Made in India for exports to US. Not really making any claims here though. So let's take a look at the box. Box. So I like this, it comes in a bag like this and then they're individually sealed packages of five. This is great. Ooh, helping fight COVID-19. Ooh, FDA does not like that. Speaking of the FDA, this is usually a red flag. They're using the FDA's old logo on here. First of all, the FDA doesn't let you use logo on packaging. Second of all, they probably want you to use the newer logo. Though I granted, I actually like the old logo better. Um, I do like that they have the lot number on here. They're not making any claims. Manufactured by Webcraft. Interesting, in India. Distributed by Vandalay. Art Vandalay himself. Um, let's open this up, take a look. I love the individual packaging. I think it's really cool. Okay, wow, weird. Okay. Um, this is, I've never seen nose wire like, or ear loop like this. It's very weird. It's like I can see like stuff flaking off of it. Um, looks like a pretty good, it's, when it, you know, look at the, you can see that the cut was a little bit off here and you can tell that the welds are not equal here. So like typically, and then look at the nose wire is not centered and they're also not folding over the, uh, the, uh, the melt blown there, but you can see the melt blown, so that's good. Um, it is a little bit rougher than I like to see. Let's check this out real quick. Oh, wow, okay, that, okay, that's, I mean, that's better than, this is probably the best ear loop. Ooh, come on. I was gonna say, ah, no, that was a fluke. I was gonna say it was the best ear loop that I've seen from India. Okay, yeah, all right, not terrible. Really small nose wire, not centered, so I don't love that. Put this on. So the barrier package, <laughs> okay. <inter> <laughs> That's very interesting. So this, this is a barrier package, it's double packed. You think no, um, no uh, uh, smells would get in it. But what it smells like is it smells like someone was smoking when we were packaging these. <laughs> Just like a slight cigarette smoke, just like, which is a first and very odd, very odd. Now it could be, if, I, if I'm being very friendly, they're saying they're using UV sterilization, UV sterilization, easy for you to say. Uh, and it could be that during that process, um, it actually produces, an, uh, it produces ozone, which has kind of like a weird smell to it. It could be that like they UV sterilize these and then put them in, and maybe that some of that ozone smell. It doesn't smell super ozone-y, and I wouldn't think it would last this long, but I just don't like the image of like this beautiful packaging with some guy smoking a cigarette next to it. Though it does smell a little bit like cigarette smoke, which is again a first. All right, but does that matter if it doesn't protect you? Now, they're not making any claims, okay? It seems like uh, what they have is a pretty good, pretty decent product. 
great packaging. That's usually like they're spending money on packaging. You know that they actually care something about the product. But does it protect you? What does the PFE machine say? Ah, okay. Not the worst that we've seen, because the worst we saw was 10%, by the way, uh, so far. Uh, 92.060, 92.060. So the minimum standards in the United States, just for reference, 95% PFE. Uh, that's an ASTM level one mask. We like to see ASTM level two or three, which is 98% uh, or better. But considering with some of the things I've seen today, 92 is not terrible. I'm uh, not super mad about that. All right, thank you guys for watching. Hope this was helpful. And uh, please check us out on the next mask as we test all the masks we can find from India. All right, thank you so much.